In this video, we are going to look at how to put a canvas on top of our JFrame. The reason we want a canvas is because we want to actually be able to manipulate the pixels and change their colors and some have something dynamic that's responsive and not just a frame which we actually can't change the color of the pixels for. So we're going to need two things. We're going to need canvas oops, canvas, and we're also going to need something to draw on our canvas, and that's going to be a buffered image, which I'm going to call the fractal image. Canvas, unfortunately, is not a built-in class in Java, so we're going to have to create it ourselves. So let's do that just down here. And we're going to make it a private inner class because we want it to be able to access some of our methods in the Fractal Explorer. And our canvas is going to extend a J panel because we want to put the J panel on top of the J frame, which is our Fractal Explorer program. Our canvas is going to override two methods, get preferred size and paint component which is going to tell our canvas how to behave. So to make sure we're overriding, put the at override sign. This is optional. Public dimension get preferred oh, size. And get preferred size should return the preferred size of our canvas which we already know what this is because we know what the dimension of the JFrame is. It's going to be the same. It's just going to be width and height. The next method we're going to override is a more important paint component. And it takes a graphics object as an argument. And this graphics object is going to be the object that's going to draw our fractal image onto the canvas itself. So I'm going to call this the drawing object. And the drawing object is just going to call one method called draw image. And this is going to be the method which is going to be responsible for drawing that fractal image on the screen we're going to make the fractal image be 600 by 600 or uh, width by height. So we're just going to place it at the top left corner of the screen. So these are x, y coordinates. And the last argument is for an observer. We don't have an observer, so put null right there. So the last thing we need to do is actually initialize the canvas and the fractal image and display them on the screen. To do that, let's add another method called uh, add canvas. So private void add canvas. And we're just going to initialize the canvas, so say new canvas and let's initialize the fractal image so create a new buffered image and this takes as arguments the size and the type of buffered image we want a buffered image types are constants in the buffered image class so so we can specify the type we want and we just want type called type int oops RGB which is a standard type for uh, red green blue so next we are going to set the canvas property to be visible and lastly we're going to add them to the frame so canvas 
and we're going to put this in the center. So say border layout dot center. Oh, I can see I have a spelling mistake right here in get preferred size. So this would throw an error because at override would say, hey, this isn't actually a method we're overriding because it's not spelled correctly. So let's fix that. And now let's actually run this program and see if we have successfully added the canvas to the screen. Let's go to the terminal and compile this and run it. And as we can see, instead of having a frame with a white background, now we have a frame with a black background. And the black simply means that we have successfully added the canvas on top of the frame. So guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.